WHO in two weather, Kamaka Pili. We made it to the new week. It was a beautiful weekend start and end with some partly cloudy skies, those trade winds blowing through. And if we take a peek to our Po'akahi, our Monday for Lanai, mostly sunny skies is expected to accompany the morning and a slight buildup of those clouds. Rain chances not increasing too much. And that's what we're actually seeing across all the islands. A dry trade wind pattern is expected. Tonight, we do have these partly cloudy skies, a little gloomy here. It's not even 6.30 and it's already getting dark. But across the islands, again, partly cloudy skies, some pockets of hours coming through, especially when we get into the later hours with these trade winds. For tomorrow, though, green lights across the board. No threats or advisories past 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. We have the, rem the remnants of this small craft advisory, which has been dwindling day by day. Now, the last portion, at least tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, and I don't expect that to be extended because our winds are easing off. So speaking of easing off winds, east-facing uh, east shores, we can expect the choppy conditions slowly start to dwindle down along with those numbers, three to five footers for the east and the north. We're going to have this current swell diminish quite a long period swell. So we're going to start to see this diminish throughout at least the first half of the week. The next significant swell for the north facing shores could be around Friday. Two to four footers for the west and one to three calmest down on the south facing shores. Now above our islands, we have a high pressure system that's fueling our trade winds. So we're seeing more east northeasterly winds now. But as we step into the days ahead, we're going to really start to see that shift down, unfortunately, down towards the southeast. And right now we're looking around two. Tuesday, Wednesday. This cold front is the reason for that shift of those uh, trade winds and really creating that uncomfortable wind flow. Behind that, we have yet another cold front and a storm system. Now, as we progress, into next week and we're looking around Saturday that could potentially reinforce itself and create the first winter storm and widespread shower activity with that threat of thunderstorms. The models aren't in best agreement. This is what one model looks like. The other model looks to keep that rain and all that stormy system towards the northwest of the island. So we'll have to make sure uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Make sure you stay tuned with K2N2. But until for tomorrow it's looking to be beautiful. Not much again with those light winds. We could expect some isolated up to some scattered showers for the windward sides and that's going to what uh, that trend is what we're going to see progress into the days ahead. With the light and variable winds kicking in around Tuesday, Wednesday, you can expect the focus of those showers to shift towards the leeward and inland areas during the afternoon hours with those sea breezes and the daytime heating, things getting a little bit more warm. Tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, rain chances remain low, mostly single digits across the islands. Again, greatest chance will remain for the windward sides across the islands uh, until around Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when we're going to start to get those light and variable winds. Happy Veterans Day on Thursday. Keep that in mind. And again, keep in mind that storm system could be bringing the first widespread shower activity potentially Saturday into Sunday. So make sure you download that K2 into mobile app and you'll stay informed. Sam?